Slip. Yo. Hello, hello. Fellas, we are here. Making the hash in the morning yet again. Can I just say I'm so proud of us for how like punctual we've been for like the last how many episodes? Like it started off rough, but we're here. Straight up, eleven o'clock. Y'all getting it. We got a special guest today. Who's that? That uh, Who's that? That is Alex. Um, it's me. Alex, little intro. Tell them about yourself. Uh, yeah, let us know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm Alex. Uh, I've been working with the dispensary for almost a year. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, been a really good experience, and now I'm finally on the bacon and hash, so th- <laughs> things are getting better. Things are getting better. What store? Did you say Appleton? Uh, Appleton. Appleton. Mm-hmm. Nice. Are you, have any workings with the Kakana, or were you, are you just uh, going to say Appleton? No, I'll be I'll be staying in Appleton. I'll I'll take over the spots when uh, Justin leaves. Oh nice! Sad day, but I'm passing the torch. I'll take it. I'm taking it. Very nice. Yeah, we got uh, so Alex Appleton crew here. We're gonna be trying to introduce more people, have other people on. Um, so today a little bit different show. We got some uh, questions for Alex. We got a little interview questions. We're gonna go through some sugar pop. Is what we all just indulged in. Mm-hmm. Did you get your hands on some, Alex? Oh yeah, I did. I did. Nice. Okay. So I had to step outside and get uh, just pelted by the rain. <laughs> I said, I told these guys I walked back in. It was like, this is uh, going to be tough for me to talk about flavors and stuff. I was just out there fighting the rain, one drop at a time. So anyway, here we are. Grace, uh, thanks for chiming in, Square. stopping in. <laughs> take the love and very skunky very yeah sweet. with yeah. a name like sugar pop i was expecting something very sweet and it mm-hmm. does have some like gassy diesely knit bits to it look at that here it is live i think i actually took a piece of that bud i think that's what jb is smoking off of as right as well that exact the original bud. yeah, yeah poster child the og <laughs> that is the og bud. uh what what did you guys uh, flavors? Tell me. You guys know I like to go through the thing. Alex? Uh, I mean, definitely, like like you said, it was weird because I thought it was going to be sugary, but like smelling it and smoking it, it's definitely more of that like earthy, like skunky. It's just not what I expected. It's not bad, though. It's definitely good. Got earth, got skunk. Um, as everyone knows, uh, we hear these words often. Earthy, skunky, diesel-y. Uh, JB, any of you guys want to add anything else to your? Um, no, I feel like that kind of covered it. Amazing, genius, JB with <laughs> that follow up. <laughs> Astute with my words, you know what I say. An oh, that's right funny. There. If you guys didn't hear, JB. <laughs> How about effects? How you feeling, fellas? Um, I definitely feel like very light, like, um, lifted, I suppose. Uplifted. Yeah, I definitely get more of like that, that heady, like cerebral effect from this one, for sure. Speaking is a little difficult right now. (laughs) Speaking is hard. Cerebral, did I hear? Mm -hmm. Definitely got to focus on my words. I'm trying to type and talk. All and run a podcast. All at once. So, is this a podcast or is this a morning show? I call it both. I, I mean, a morning podcast. <laughs> morning podcast show. What about yeah? Let us know in the comments, you guys. Let us know. We what do you, what do y'all call it? Because yeah. we uh, make our minds for us. Yeah, I actually uh, agree. I was just thinking in my head. We're at eleven o'clock, so we even land in like a really weird spot. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. end of morning. The late here, morning here I'm on the uh, company website here, H for H, obviously supplying the flower. Shout out to the dispensary, as usual, Hemp for Heroes, carrying our 
ugly flower product here. So I got uplifted and cerebral. It's a sativa mini hybrid. What was that, JB? What did you show off? Oh, that's the uh, sugar pop container. There it is. Cool. Andrew, easily a hybrid of all. If you were getting something from one of our stores, I would get something like that. Um, THC breakdown. I couldn't fit the description on there for you guys, but if you get anything from our store, uh, nice little see a way to take you to the testing. Yeah. Breakdown. How much you got mm -hmm. and when you got it. Uh, actually, I, for like just to take you, everybody who's watching into the mind of like what I think, because I'm always like, oh, maybe we should get really good labels for every dram that you guys send out, like decorated, colorful, like the whole thing. And I'm like, after I look at that, sometimes I like the raw, like, look of it. It's yeah, it's, it's the bay. It's got the <laughs> just the bare bones information that you need. No, like, tricks, nothing to distract you or make people confused. Like, where do I find this? Boom. And that's how I feel most marijuana products should be. And me and Alex have had this talk a few times. I don't think you need all the flashy colors. Just say what it is. Maybe put, like, a pot leaf on it. Call it good. Mm -hmm. Straightforward and simple. Mm-hmm. I like it too. Um, that's not saying after I like thought about it more, it offers more of that boutique feel. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. And like you got it from a mom and pa shop, which we, we try to be that, you know, right vertically integrated all the way to the customer style. Um, and soiled oil. Soiled oil. I'm more of a flower guy though. I'm more of a right here. The sugar pop is doing do well. Well, right I good. mean, technically, even in the flower, you're getting those oils. It's just in the. Uh trichome form wow jb just really breaking down just like dropping the knowledge right <laughs> breaking it down Dang. like you know i like to smoke flour he's like no no you're actually smoking <laughs> 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 technically, <laughs> technically hold on <laughs> still getting those oils all right all right jb we're good we're good <laughs> skunky and a sativa that's wild andrew agreed Uplifting, relax with cerebral effects. I feel like you guys hit it on the head. Mm. Sweet mm -hmm. earth and spice. Definitely get that spice. This is another thing. I'm going to go a little left turn on you guys. But I want to show this. I just want to see what you guys would think. And it's going nowhere. Anybody who's watching, this is going nowhere. You know, you get exclusive looks in at uh, what we do here and stuff. Um, but I just found this out. Uh, what would you guys think about like becoming wheat sommeliers through a accredited program? What is a sommelier? A wine, a professional wine. It's tester. it's it's yeah, it's like a like a wine like tester, like professional wine. So and you like do that for cannabis? Yes. Oh, 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 God. God. oh no. We had a guy come in to Appleton and just start flexing on us I about how he was a gonjier. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew says sign me up. I know, no, I love it too. I love the not that we want to be like that guy. <laughs> What did he say? What he was happened? just like so, so snobbish about it, just flexing on us like he knew more than us. Mm -hmm. And it's like he may have, but it's like just a weird attitude. Ugh. So it's just the guy who we have a problem. Like not that yeah. we have a problem with. But not no. This, no, no, this, no. This idea though is still cool. Yeah, I like the idea. Yeah. Just don't be that guy. <laughs> so if we do become these people, we will not be those guys. We just uh, we things. just have the knowledge. Like we, you guys would be like, yeah, we're kind of yours. Uh, so we actually do know our having accredited accredited people that be like, oh, I look at this verified. bud, like verify it. I like um, it. The mastery of cannabis service to your training. Mm. I like this. I'm gonna actually see if we can get a part of some training. I would love and, that. Uh, I'll be a guinea pig. And look at that, still. That's my stuff up. Perfect. Oh, but yeah, if you guys thought that was a cool idea. Like, kind of a left turn there, but uh, since we do this every day, it'd be kind of cool if we were accredited. Yeah. Shit, I, might just I agree. Gonna start wearing like suits on the podcast. You know, you're gonna be gone. I want to get mm -hmm. uh, like lab coats so bad to wear in the store. I think that would be cool. <laughs> and then like embroider the logo on it. Imagine mm -hmm. like some black lab coats with the green. Oh, I think that would pop so good. At your store? Yeah. Okay. 
be careful with that because they did that in Chesterfield, but they had aprons. Mm. You know, that everybody was like, I don't like the aprons. Just because you had to wear it every day. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. No. Aprons are not fun. I, I The jobs that work <laughs> with aprons, they suck, especially like denim. Not fun. Oh, true. I approve of the suits. So Look at that, Grace. Mm. Thank you. I'll show up in a nice black and green suit. Mm -hmm. Maybe Kakana is where we do the suits. I love it. Right at the truck stop. I mm -hmm. love it. And draw a lot of attention. People are like, hey, you see those? We guys do. In, we in we were talking about doing like some sort of like kind of nice, mm -hmm. fancy, like uh, cigar lounge type vibe, just like peaceful, cool. So I think the suits would go crazy with that kind of mm -hmm. look. Get a little green hanky. Oh, no, you got to get the little pocket, like, what is it? Square. Like a pocket, pocket square. square. Just get the weed responsibly on there. Oh, that would <laughs> go crazy. Need to. There you go. Pocket square. <laughs> Good. That'd be see now, see now what you guys are talking about is a super funny video. <laughs> Where we just, this dude walks in, he's always suited up. Someone walks in, I'm just, like, using the pocket square to, like, rub down an old-fashioned pipe. <laughs> hey, I'm like, what can I do for you, boss? How you doing, Bob? <laughs> Straight up. We'll do Have, it. Have like little weed shoes. We'll do it. Oh no. That's your mask. Mm. That's a fancy that's dude. Funny shit. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's just visualizing now. <laughs> space uh space no nope. sugar pop. Sugar pop. Sugar, sugar pop. pop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Guys, it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's the review. <laughs> That's the slogan for Sugar Pop. That's JB Ice approved. It does things. <laughs> At the end of our strain review here, it, it works. works. <laughs> Good. We'll talk it up to earthy, skunky, uplifted, surreal effects. Thanks, guys. Nice Thank review. You. We're going to pull that out of here. I have. Um, a little clip from the dispensary live. I was going to show everybody. Uh, there was a good question, um, but I don't know how to get it out. Did you guys watch the last episode? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had Callum on the show. Um, he was talking with us. He's an attorney from out in Virginia. Probably sees a lot of crazy shit. Um, you guys see uh, in the news. There's a lot of movement out there in terms of states and. I get news from the hemp round table uh, that we yeah. <laughs> all the states are handling their things differently, but he's a specialist in Virginia in particular. Um, so I'm just going to throw it out for a little bit. Question sure. by Miss Irene. What steps should customers take if they encounter legal issues related to the possession? This, now, in Wisconsin, much like mean. even in Virginia, possession laws you guys now hear this, are oh, yeah. Yeah. really falling apart. THCA. But THCA flower, Callum, you work firsthand on THCA flower versus. Uh, marijuana and how what would we want to recommend because as a company we've told customers keep it in a bag keep the receipt on it take it home goes back to the middle segment weed responsibly but if they encounter problems as an attorney like you don't want your client and i guess i'm going to be preemptive you guys have this question right <laughs> Sorry, i'm not going to can't say the word apparently right now preemptive preemptuous. <laughs> Presumptuous? Presumptuous, yeah. Presumptuous. yeah. There it is. Got it. Landed. <laughs> the I'm Presumptuous. not good with words, but I like to talk. Thursday, Thursday yeah. of every month, you can change. Going everything. into that, what would you want your client to do? Just uh, take the citation on the side of the road, easier to fight, saying that, hey, you bought it at this store. This is what it is. Or do you want them to be a street attorney and try and argue it on the side of the road with the cop? <laughs> the street well, um, even... Even if you're a fully licensed attorney, it's generally a bad idea to argue. <laughs> That's not where you're, you know, you exactly. don't have the home field advantage. Uh, um, you're you don't in have a the situation advantage. where you're pretty much at the mercy of somebody who's doing the best they can with the resources they have, which oftentimes at the best of times are, are somewhat lacking. Now, it, it, at all times, it's pretty good to, you know, my legal advice is they can't hold it against you. If you don't say it, you've got those rights, know your rights. I don't think it should be the obligation of folks in a stressful situation to have to know everything, maintain a calm demeanor and ensure somebody else is. But at the end of the day, these are those kind of situations where 
it's kind of going to come meet you with the same energy. If you're cool enough to try to explain that, it's going to look it's a lot better than on, you know, one on earth, you score on away. But that's where it's helpful to have these things. And especially if you go to a reputable place like the dispensary, if you have things where, you know, I know this has come, I know we've got uh, its analysis. I know I can, you know, trace this back. <laughs> I know that this is compliant with whatever these local regulations. And if somebody doesn't understand that, that's where you can keep it. So if you run into issues with that, I always just say, be aware ahead of time, know everything, take steps like, okay, what happens if I run into that situation? Um, because ultimately, then when it does, the best thing you can do is like, I've done everything I could right there. I'm going to walk away and wait for somebody who, um, you know, can can walk in and then can't quite be, uh, <laughs> have the situation escalate if I do have to explain myself to somebody in a black robe. Um, so to answer the question is absolutely, if you run into that, keep those receipts, keep those things on you. Don't give away information. Um that you don't necessarily have to, but certainly don't try to lecture at somebody or escalate a situation that doesn't need to be made more than it is, especially since good points. Great points. Mm -hmm. You guys see that. Um, I was going to stop it there. I don't, we could just probably watch the whole episode again. We be like, <laughs> just, good stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, we preach that all the time. I think it's just a good topic to always get up. You can catch those segments live third Thursday every month. Maybe get you two more involved with that as well in our transition. New studio coming soon. To mm -hmm. new stu studio coming soon, Alex. I've been here and I've been here. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you there. Then then we could actually do it round table. Just have a talk with us here. Do the whole thing. Beauty. Now on to and JB loves. The Discord. Oh, the Discord. We got what was that noise? I have no idea. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, it was like yeah. A I, don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, I I have Instagram up right now. I have more comments over here. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, okay. Just, I just kind of read. Always argue with the cops. Your legit legitimacy as a ganjir. <laughs> I, swear, I, I swear I have my certificate. It's right here. If, if we got like a card or something, yeah. I mean, if we get it from the program, just flash it up. <laughs> We're professional. It's right here. Dude, I'm a professional. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll Let forgive me, you this time. Yeah. Let me break down this bud for you right in front of you. This has got karyophylline in it. <laughs> you know what that does, officer? <laughs> Do you know That's what that society. does? <laughs> like, I think you just get more frustrated at that point. <laughs> God, I think we lose. <laughs> oh no! Like, get this guy out of here. He's busting out a flower in front of me and trying to teach me about it. <laughs> oh, Christ. That'd be funny. <clears throat> so here we are. We always like pop in the Discord. Um, I'm obligated to burn while burn driving. While driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pro bun tender, dude. He said if I go into work sober, they'll fire me. Dude, it's a part of the it's a part of my job, officer. I have I part have of our to. education. You gotta do it. Gotta smoke this joint. <laughs> yeah, dude. That is so good, man. There is a huge uh bunch of action since we last talked here. A lot of action. Uh, in the Discord. We grow in. Uh, we've grown, we're, we're adjusting, we're changing. Adapting. Adapting, if you would. Big things coming. Uh, got some people sharing some setups. You guys want to raid some setups? I know let's do it, let's do it. Look at all the pot leaves. Oh, I thought those are pot leaves. Um, so this guy's from Fond du Lac. So I'll uh, just give you guys a little bit of background. Oh, look at what he does here. Oh, whoa. Oh, the trippy, trippy main. It is. Yeah. So this guy, a little bit of background. G. Easley from Fond du Lac, a customer. Um, interested in kind of moderating in the community. Um, Alex, you'd be up there too if you're interested. I'm kind of trying to. Get that thing rolling, you know. So, gotta just just keep talking. Power in the Discord. Get some police force going in the Discord. 
Yeah, I'll extend that out to anybody. So if anybody's watching, um, this is our online community. It's got um, gaming background. Yeah, people sharing PCs and stuff, but there is uh, space in here. We'll get to it of uh, people sharing product, flower mostly. A big fans of flower in there. So um, get more people involved would be great. Look at this. Can we do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just put stuff in your case. It gets really hot. Yeah, but that's why you got fans. It blows it out. I'm the reason moderators exist. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Just... He's the origin. This is the guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> Canon event. Slap the like button. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Here every Monday. Just to chop it up with you guys. Thank you, Mr. Sack. Mr. Sack, thank you. As well. <clears throat> Not too shabby. I like that. I like the, the triple nice. rings. That's clean. Simpsons in the rig. Ooh, we got another piece right here. <laughs> this is G. Easley's. Again, G. Easley. What do you say? 3090 Ti and uh, Intel i9 109. Jeez. Dang. All right. Is bro mining crypto? What's going on? <laughs> That's a lot mean? of that's a lot of power. That's 3090 is like one of there, especially the mm -hmm. TI is like one of the highest uh graphics cards out there. I think the 4090 trumps it, like TI trumps it, but that's only because oh, yeah, yeah. it's like the newest thing. Mm -hmm. Alex, you got PC? Uh I mean I've got my uh I got a gaming laptop. So uh mine's <laughs> I think uh uh like i7 and like 3070. Yeah. So, it's it's good enough for me. I, I do want to get like a bigger PZ setup, but I gotta get the money first. So yeah, <laughs> I can't wait on that. I'm rocking an i5. I think I'm gonna go back to an i7. Mm. I was mostly doing editing and not a lot of gaming, so I didn't think I needed it. But now I do more gaming. <laughs> I don't still. I don't know what I have, even though I just got it. I don't remember. But it does always look cool. I I'm, I walk it's in true. like nice. You posted yours somewhere, right? I think it is. Uh, I think I have it in clips. We'll get there. Right. Big uh, things. Help me grow tree. this tree. Uh, well, I'm trying. <laughs> Everybody's watching. Help me grow this tree. Um, been trying to get it to the number one weed tree ever. Pink. Right now we are at the 15,000th tallest tree. This is a goal of mine. We're getting life. there. It's a life goal. Grow this weed tree. We'll get there. Photos, videos. As I said, lots of um, you'll get some product in here. Shout out from Appleton. Right? Big shout out, Appleton. Huge, huge shout out, Appleton. Yeah, that's home. That's your home turf, right there, Alex. Home base. Mm -hmm. Where I was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right in the apple where, his, where his budding <laughs> career began. But actually, take a I want to. God, I can eat a gummy. Just pops it out of my desk. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> <laughs> <There we go. laughs> That one tickled. Just, I get scared sometimes, man. I feel like I gotta remind you how to breathe when you're hitting places <laughs> like that. <laughs> Dear Lord. I'll say that too. That's insane. You. That's insane. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> that kind of segues us. I think we wanted to kind of give a little interview for Alex here. Yeah, no, we're, we'll get there. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. I thought we, we can do we can do that now. I was just gonna show this buds, um, Irene. It. Shout out Irene and the Appleton crew called us out, so we all have to do that rip. If anybody else does that, we can do it again. I don't know. I don't know if I can, if I can eat brother. another gum. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna, gonna be I don't know that I can, brother. <laughs> <coughs> I guess I can't speak for the whole crew. <laughs> Alice will take three for all of us. Oh God! All right, <laughs> all right. It's gonna be my last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, rip it or I riot. Appreciate you being here, Drew. 
The man is a killer, absolute killer. I call. love the, the the brand sponsorship placement right there by Drew. Also, yes, this is uh, look at, look at this, is Drew, this is actually Drew's share in the Discord. Is this <coughs> massive nug? He is a um, massive nug. Uh, Greensboro frequent. Uh, so it looks like he's got the hookups with the sticker and the, and the buds. JB himself. See, you do have an ashtray. Yeah, I was on Team Ashtray. I was going to yeah. ask today, I, what, we should get the ashtrays with the pokey thing so you can clear your bowl. Okay. okay. Talking about some extra costs there, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just try to throw it out there. Maybe, maybe we, we got to maybe a more budget. like a more like premium ashtray. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we, you know, get there, see how they do. You'll love our ashtrays. Well, okay, I saw yeah. them. They did. More, look they do look nice. They did more look exclusivity big. in here for the people. Custom ashtrays. You get custom rolling trays. Custom T-shirts, all on four twenty, um, as well as some other deals. Um, but putting those bags together, you walk out of the, you got to make a purchase of a hundred dollars, but you walk out with this bag full of stuff. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Just get a hundred dollars ready. <laughs> Freaking flyer alert set, or you can hot glue a toothpick to the center. It works. Look at this. I uh, see. I was thinking about that. I just didn't want to like ruin the, you know, you know, the nice one with hot glue. I'm not very crafty. She's seen my uh, daily deal signs. They're not very exquisite. <laughs> They're legible. They're not that bad. They're legible. I can say <laughs> I can that. Read them. Who does who does your daily deals now? Uh, uh, well, it's whoever's working. But Irene just does them way better than the rest oh, of yeah. us. <laughs> I can make bubble letters. That's yeah, it. I can That's do like block letters. That's about as fancy as it gets. I can color mm -hmm. them in. Bubble letters. <laughs> I can sometimes do like polka dots <laughs> if I'm feeling spicy. That's after you have a little, uh, what did we just smoke? Sugar, sugar pop. Sugar pop. Space, space yeah. candy, sugar pop. Space candy. <laughs> clip that, clip that, clip that. that. <laughs> you guys remember uh, 26 minutes and 50 seconds. 26 there's, 50. There's a good clip there. You writing that down? Yep. Bet. Since the sack was some just absolute savagery, ash on the floor and sweep it up. With the Roomba. Like a man. Damn. <laughs> like, put it on the floor. Roomba. <laughs> Alexa, sweep that up. <laughs> Iron Man? Alexa, sweep that up. <laughs> oh, uh. This last thing I want to share here. We're going to get to Alex with this. Look, I was watching this. First time ever I watched a uh, gaming tournament. Drew and a couple of his buddies. It's pretty good. I thought it was pretty intense, but um, this is a massive grinder and that bud that's sitting there, just big buds, just sharing big buds. Big buds. <laughs> big nug. Chill vibes, high game. Chill vibes, high game. We're going to kick out of that Discord a little bit. We're going to switch it up. We're going to yeah, the Alex interview. Guys, want to get to know Alex or just ask him a few questions? Go on, meet, uh, meet the bud tender. Meet Is that what we're calling this? Yeah, let me actually even type it in. I love it. And then, like, hyphen in, in Alex. Oh, you want the hyphen? I feel like that would be cool. He's going to be, he's gonna be Alex that. from the dispensary. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll put Appleton down. Mm. Yeah, i get a little recognition there. All right. All right. Um, oh, that's it. a good idea by Irene. What? I said first, first ever green out. out. Oh, oh man. well, we'll save that. Anybody has any questions for a bud tender? Throw them in the comments. We'll hit them. We'll hit them. Um, and then uh, we will go down the list that me and JB had. I'll start. I guess I kept it pretty light. Alex, passions, interests outside of cannabis. What do you like to do? Well, uh, I mean, I'm a big gamer head too. I love uh, playing uh, a lot of different things. I think my favorite like genre of games is probably like sci-fi or sci-fi horror. Those are definitely fun. Um, like other than that, like big music head too. I always listening to something or when I got free time, playing a little guitar, trying to get that back up. But um, yeah, 
definitely. I think those are two big things I'm into right now. What's I, what's your favorite uh, horror science fiction or what you said? All best, all best. Uh, well, Outlast, great game. Uh, I'd yeah. probably say it, it's got to be Dead Space though. Okay. Dead Space three. So. All right. Let's that's respect. A, oh, three. Okay. Well, not three. Excuse me. Like I say three. I'm at the remaster. It was really got good. You. I okay, just played okay. that recently. Uh, yeah, no, that had to be my favorite. Besides, like Alien Isolation was pretty okay. good. Too. Someone Ooh. said he can hunt Bigfoot with us. We were having a good time hunting Bigfoot yeah. the other night. <laughs> Uh, we jumped into that. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just running around the map as Bigfoot, you know, just trying to figure out what I, where I'm at. <laughs> Hunting but me down. It was a good time. Yeah. People think we're crazy. We're like, these guys smoke weed and then hunt Bigfoot. <laughs> I, I think that's the only way to hunt Bigfoot. I don't think I could. <laughs> like, normally. That's true. So how else do you hunt Bigfoot? Right. Can't do that sober. That's a lot. Can't do that sober. Then it's weird. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then I'm just scared. Then I'm not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't good. Alex, uh, what's your stance on Bigfoot? Is he real or is he not real? Like, <laughs> I mean, there's people with big feet, so I, there's got to be a Bigfoot. I Shout mean, somewhere. Me. I think so. But I mean, am I gonna find them? No. <laughs> but so, I hope so. Maybe somebody what you, will. What do you think of the picture? The pictures of him that uh, that he's like on the world's worst camera in 2019 or something like that. I think people just got to find a better angle. Maybe get some lighting going on in those pictures. I mean, it's 2024. I'm uh, saying we think? can capture people with, like, satellites from space. But every time there's a Bigfoot picture, it is, like, the blurriest, like, most non, like, <laughs> specific thing. I need to know. What like, that just looks like a dude in a gorilla suit. Like, This is the I same mean, photo we've been fed for forever. How much longer do they expect us to think that this is right? Um, like, if, even if that's a fake, like they could make a better fake now. Yeah, like I mean, something a little more, you know, a little more detail. They got like <laughs> crazy makeup. And stuff. Drew says, "I know." Did you get gobbled up by Bigfoot the other day? Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you like got messed up by Bigfoot the other night when you were playing. <laughs> I was. I was Bigfoot. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh! So you are Bigfoot. He oh, is that's him. what he's saying. Okay. <laughs> that's me. Brandon is Bigfoot. He shaved for the podcast. That's so funny. I, I have to <laughs> shave daily. <laughs> Where were we? Wow, we got uh, really. We, we were talking crazy. about uh, his favorite games. Favorite games. Well, yeah. we have a lot of we have a lot of customer questions too. His favorite games, but yeah, that's where we were. I had one more yeah, question yeah. there about it. I was going to say something like. Uh, Oh, we did just find out too. If anyone's joining, that all three of us play guitar, so yes. there's going to be a music I, show. I'm very <laughs> eh, on guitar. I can play ukulele though, and that's fine. I need a uke. You'll be the uke yes. guy. I yeah. mean, we need one. That's yeah. good. <laughs> I know You'll Lucas and Pondy you. plays bass. Fine. Lucas, if you're watching, um, I am looking for a bassist. Actually, anybody in the in the chat, anybody who's watching. We will be looking for a virtual jam sesh soon. We will virtual personally... garage band. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have the, I could easily get a program together. That would be sick. We, what if we could make like a community song with the Discord? That would be so sick. Every morning, I just play it. All right, yeah, we got a, we got a whole bunch of questions here. I think we can start hitting those. To be honest, I was just gonna ask Alex. Mm -hmm. What kind of like, obviously, the line of work that we do is like different and new. What kind of like made you want to do that and apply for it to be like being a butt tender, get into this industry? Well, I think um, as far as like a big thing for me, it's like uh, just the type of business with it being new and it being something that's growing. Like, I really like always like having something new to learn or like something to engage in and like it feels like every day or at least every week there's something that like comes up that I'm learning about and that I'm doing. So that was one thing. It's just the, the ability to learn in it. And um, I think it's really cool starting up in like a business that kind of goes against like the, the norms of the industry and what people expect. And it uh, feels good to be part of kind of like changing that view on it. I think it's another nice. good reason. I love that. I love that as well. All right. 
Um, do we want to move we... into the comic questions? Yeah, hit the comments. Um, First green out story. I don't know. Somebody's like pinging us or something. Are they like gifting us something? First green out story. <laughs> okay, first yeah. green out. Um, I think it was actually with being with the dispensary. Um, nah. It was a. Uh, is when we first got Delta Nine like edibles, and we all got a cookie, and then I ate the whole thing, forgetting that it was you know an edible cookie, and I was on my way home, <laughs> so I usually walk home. Side so door, run home. It started hitting me like as I'm opening the door, and I sat down in this chair for like six hours, just like this, <laughs> just waiting for it to like work its way out. It was, it's so bad. But, but I, I was safe. I was comfortable, so I made it. That was your first green out. Yeah, because that, uh, oh, that's crazy. I mean, I really before I worked here, I I didn't really do it a lot, like personally. I, oh, before okay. working, I, I've only done it twice. The first time, uh, both times, with a friend of mine who wanted to like get me to see how I like react to it. And I was just curious to see if it was something good or if it's what people like made it out to be as some sort of like, you know drug that's gonna mess you up but both times it was really chill and then uh now do it every i think at least once every bit of the week nice yeah see like it's it's uh i like that those stories it, i would i would say you're like the second staff that i know this he's no longer with us but uh uh not a big user before stepping into the gig and started getting into it and it's like yeah man if i can I like I love this shit. So um started becoming a user and um I say user, I always think it comes with like a derogatory thing, but it's he's mm -hmm. just a user of the product. And um yeah, he just uh, chilled him up, said he liked it, enjoyed it, helped him sleep, used it for all those reasons that people use it for like more of a medical thing, but yeah, not to use it and then switch over. What else we got in the comments, Alex? You got a bunch here, man. Uh, there are a lot of new Being that you started just starting with us, what are you People most excited? People love Alex. Did you just start? No, you said almost a year. Yeah, right? About a year ago. About a year. Yeah. Um. I mean, like I was saying, it for like a reason for being in it. It's just the potential for change and like potential for growth. You know, obviously, no big law changes recently, but I feel like it's getting talked about more, and there looks like things that are going to be put into place to really bring us up and like open more doors. So I think that's what I'm excited for is just the, the potential for the growth coming up in the next, you know, coming years for sure. I get excited still. I know you guys probably think I'm lame and boring and was watching, but I get these event planners like from the stores. <laughs> I actually, I think that's um, something that to me is growth outside of like company growth and like internal growth and shit like that. I get that. Um, but getting out in the communities and doing the events and just putting our name out there as a as a cannabis company in a traditionally non-legal state and people are just like they just like it's all good it's cool to be uh that way out but i said it on um the channel five news we were at channel five news this week and i'm like we're just normalizing cannabis around here like <laughs> you just walk up to our booth and be like what do you guys got and it's cool. You don't see that usually outside of this. All right. What Someone store is Alex. Alex from Appleton? Appleton. How did you get into cannabis? Oh yeah, I said it was a uh, my friend of mine. Uh, name is Prem. Uh, shout out Prem. He shout out Prem. Uh, <laughs> he invited me one time to just kind of smoke with him and his uh, and his group of friends that kind of were into it. Just was kind of seeing if I wanted to try it. And I had always been pretty curious because of just like how so back and forth it was for what people would tell you. Um, but I either it has huge medical benefits or it's going to make you get into other drugs. It's just this back and forth. So I decided to try it. I'm like, I want to at least see how it affects me. Just see what happens. And uh, yeah, I can say like every time I've smoked, it's been an enjoyable experience. And those first two, yeah, it was really good. Just with a good group of friends. Hey, Denny's at like 2 a.m. It was a oh, great time. time. Great time. Nice. This one's a big one. Oh. This one's a huge question. I think um, I know where you stand on this. I mean, it, 
I'm gonna pre let me preface you, Alex. This is big. <laughs> People watching, the company here, kind of nerds. I got a lightsaber over here in the corner. This may affect how your interview goes later. Correct. Okay, okay. Like this has just absolute pull in the company right here. So anybody, well, we take our Marvel and DC very seriously. Uh, I, I don't know if, how controversial the take this will be, but uh, don't say it. I, I, I'm more of a Marvel fan. Oh, I thought he was Definitely. gonna say DC. I think DC animated is good, but the live action could be better. <clears throat> That's the thing I don't think they get, but Marvel has a good bit of both. So, if you ever get a chance, you get Trevor Morrissey talking about some of this Marvel. If you yeah. have it, he'll just rattle it on for days. He, Dave. I think we talked about for probably about forty-five minutes about like comics and DC and Marvel in one of the interviews that I did with him. It's a good judge of character, like it Marvel, is. You know, Marvel and DC. You know, I think differently depending on that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at you with that. Just so serious. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> it's, <laughs> there's some crazy questions in here. Alex, can yeah, you confirm your attendance at the golf outing in July? Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it definitely, if I can, I, I I would love to go. I'm not going to be... Are we able to work that? I, I, um, just to clear anything up on that, we are... There will be some jabs. Other golf course jabs. Really, Sign me up, brother. Real fun stuff. You sit out in the sun and just drive around. Um probably selling raffle tickets. Uh, I know we are going to be on a part three so that we'll have people sitting on the part three. My plan is this. I got to get it approved yet, but it's the hole in one hole. So we have uh, July 29th. Anybody watching golf, tur uh, golf tournament, green gives back golf outing. But if you hit the green, you get a free joint. So we're going to be just, <laughs> if you hit the green, we're just giving you a joint down at the green. Good job. And uh, there you go. People are going to be smoking joints like crazy. Crazy. Irene says, "Who's your favorite store manager?" No pressure. Ooh. I I don't know. I mean, I think I find good qualities in both my managers. I don't think I can pick and choose. Is she saying like between me and her, or like just store I, managers throughout the company? I see. Well, I mean, I really only know <laughs> mostly you guys, uh, so I think that's probably it. But I think you know, both do great. I've had a great experience as I started working. I don't think I could pick a favorite. You know, it's good. I mean, if it, if it helps anything, he's I been PR. <laughs> he's been he, he's been PR trained. This is good. Ooh, PR trained. <laughs> I, I know how to play Switzerland pretty well, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here. We're safe. Stay right on the fence. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I read. I hear the French expand. Fredericksburg's manager is cool. This is good. You got some good, there's some PR questions for sure in here. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, this one here, is there anything you wish was better? I, actually would, like, I would actually like to hear that. I read mean, just, yeah, I mean, what do you got? Any improvements? Um, I mean, I think definitely, I guess the biggest thing would be space, because it does feel pretty, like, linear as far mm. as when you come in. Like, it's nice that everything's in the spots that they are but you know it's a little congested but luckily we will be getting if, if you know everything goes smoothly uh, that new location near uh in appleton it's got like just enough more space that i feel like it'll help clear that that issue of it feeling just kind of locked in but i'd say locked that's really in. the biggest thing mm. do you prefer paper or blunt oh so uh, blunt. blunt. i mean i haven't really gotten to like fully decide like I'm one or the other since you know I mean I've been here a year but I feel like I'm still testing out new stuff and like new ways to smoke sure um I'd say my go-to right now as far as like paper like smokable um is the king palms that we have at work I love king getting those guys really good banana cream we should get that back but yeah no they're super awesome <laughs> but, we should get that <laughs> back <laughs> banana creams are fire I, I can agree with mm -hmm. you there I gotta start rolling up again. What's your oh? What events are you looking forward to in the Discord? I know we got a bunch about to be announced. Mm -hmm. so I guess there is none to be looking forward to because we didn't announce them yet. We, <laughs> we will announce them soon this week, I believe. Well, yeah, I, I definitely would want to get involved with like a like a tournament at some point for one of the games, or like if we have any sort of big game night, trying to get in one too. No, uh, just been a little back and forth, but I definitely want to 
I'll get a little gaming session with everybody. I think that'd be cool for sure. We will keep hosting. Um, there will be more to come. We'll definitely get you in there. There's some def- uh, left field questions. This is a good one. What's your least favorite product? Ooh. Mm. Uh, hmm. It could be like a specific strain or just a product in general. I mean, I'd say out of the ones I use, the majority, like less of, I'd probably say it's like um, more like Delta 10 leaning product. I feel like I just don't get like a huge effect off it myself as compared to like if I try to smoke like a more sativa-esque plant or more like cerebral uplifting like flower, like THCA. I feel like I get a more of an effect there, but Delta 10 I feel like just doesn't respond to me the best, but I thought it's different for everybody as far as when it comes to like just how it feels and how it hits you. Oh, so, you, so now you got to go to the golf outing. Oh, the, the sack is bringing backwards. Ooh. So you can figure out if you like blunts more than joints then. I don't know if it'll make again. my golfing any better, but I definitely <laughs> I can't down for it. I know mine can't get worse. I cannot wait. <laughs> Favorite movie? I don't have that one. That's on my list. It's a good one, though. Favorite movie? Mm-hmm. That's a tough one. It's always tough. Anytime I've been asked that question, I, I just am like, hmm. I mean, if I think of it right now, going off the whole like sci-fi horror thing, I like. I think Aliens or Alien is definitely like one of my top tier. I have the whole, you know, movie collection ready to go. If I need to, and they're coming out with a new one soon, so I'm super excited for that. Romulus, yeah, big Romulus. fan of that as well. Sure. Well, looks like it's that's a great work. question by the sack there. If you could put a dispensary in any place in the world and that you would work at or run or whatever, where would it be? Oh man, um, that's, oh, well, that's a lot of good places anywhere. Uh, I would, what about like Arizona? <laughs> Well, I mean, if, if I can do it anywhere in the world, Arizona, definitely. That yeah. would be a good place, you know, be a little closer to uh Does it have to get lady busy? down there? Be very awesome. I think if I could take people with me, I'd probably open something like Japan if I went outside. Oh, I think that'd be really bring some place. bring some American weed to the Japan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bring it over to some of that American garnish. <laughs> Beach and mm-hmm. cannabis, Virgin Islands. We're getting Virgin Islands? that would be okay. better. Say, so do better. I have to get customers because I can go cool like a very <laughs> <laughs> could just be me in the dispensary. You'd be the sole employee and customer. Well, let's assume that you got like a solid <laughs> customer flow wherever you go. So I'm just a business revolving door, man. I just mm. support myself. Money in, money out. All in the same place. It just does not work. Space weed all the way. Put us on the moon. I don't <laughs> know if that'll be... Uh, oh. Can we afford a dispensary brand rocket to launch yeah. a store in a space? We'll work with Elon. We're we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think I'd go Tennessee. Just put up, put it up in the mountains somewhere. Mm. <laughs> Make people work to get there. Yeah. JB is gonna become a hill person, dude. That's my life goal. <laughs> you already got the chair. You're halfway. Uh, yeah, dude. I just need some moonshine and a pipe, just... and I'm chilling. <laughs> He's got the guitar out front. I got my guitars. Yeah, I'll learn to play the banjo. You just catch JB looking up in the hills. It'd be great. Just in his, in his <laughs> chair. People oh, walk out and like, yeah, what do you need? <laughs> oh shoot, this thing is funny, man. Should we close? Should I get the mad lib? We're Let's already at 45, 49 minutes here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Heavy flow wherever you go is crazy. <laughs> so we uh we're gonna wrap this show up a little differently. We're gonna do a mad lib with Alex. Uh this is an adult version. A candle the, lib, if you will. The this is all that I have. I don't know what it's gonna say. It's called Police Chase Lib Intro. Two teenage hooligans tried to light something on fire. Oh. Seven thousand views on this. So I need a noun. You can keep it cannabis related. You can uh, keep it to the dispensary, kinda keep it up that noun, person, place, or thing. 
Um, could be a joint. Could be a blunt. Could be a person. Why don't we just throw a uh, Justin in there? Oh, Justin. Sure. Oh, that's a proper noun. Shoot. A proper noun. True. Mm. And I think it's just looking for non-specific. Nug. Nug. We go with nug. Love it. I need another noun. I need actually two more nouns. So get ready for that. Hmm. Person, more place, noun. or thing. Could be a place. Could be Japan. Could be the hills of Tennessee. <laughs> oh, Tennessee. Oh, why don't we? Uh, yeah, why don't we um do uh what about um just this dispensary? Can we put the dispensary in there? Yeah. <laughs> it might be bad. Nug the dispensary. <laughs> Another noun. <laughs> One more noun. And then an adverb. An adverb. Ooh. 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 No, Justin, you got anything? Uh, for a noun? Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Tortilla. Tortilla. Okay. Tortilla. Oh, no. An adverb, which would be like gently or quietly or like clearly. Uh, why not uh, aggressively? Oh. Aggressively. <laughs> I feel like we have an take a call, gentlemen. I think we have a, an aggressive tortilla, perhaps. Oh, God. Noun. One more noun, and then a verb, past tense after this. Um, noun. A noun. Um, why not a... Uh, dude, just throw a blunt in there. Another blunt. No more okay. Word. Verb, past tense. So he... Okay. Ran or he stole or he or they fell. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, just do tripped, tripped, adjective, adjective, describing words, blue, skunky, skunky. This is getting very, in there. this is getting very, all right. We need three more things noun, <laughs> plural multiple people and then a verb and then a verb um. mm -mm. noun plural um just anything stores could be yeah. stores could be roads no? mm -hmm. I think it's still muted. It is muted. Uh, could be game. Could be games. Could be Discord. Oh. <laughs> Discords. Uh, still muted. Let's see here. Do uh. Hello. Check. Check. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now you're good. Water pipes. Water pipes. Right. Water pipes. Just verb. Give me a verb. Give me. Baker Street will be a we can uh, verb. Two more verbs. He smoked, smoke to smoke. Oh, uh, I would say or, smoke. Yeah, and a verb has participle, so like learn, uh, like learned or smoked, um, or stoned, stoned. Mm -hmm. Lighted, lit. <laughs> Instead of lit, light. Yeah, lit. lit. I think light it. Would lit work? Yeah. Lit. <coughs> lit. Blaze does it go? Blaze we did it. Huh. Let's read what we got here. I'll oh, read. God. All right. Two teenage nug tried to light the dispensary on fire. See, now not the dispensary. <laughs> It's arson. <laughs> Suddenly, they were caught by the tortilla and had to escape aggressively through a blunt. <laughs> the children slid down swiftly, but to no appeal did they make it. The police tripped them, handcuffed the delinquents, and placed them in the back of the car, them being the skunky water pipes that they were. <laughs> proceeded, to smoke in the back, proceeded to smoke in the back of the cop car. 
Then from oh, all the sins established, the car lit on fire by the hands of the devil and the kids lit. Kids lit. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely lit. That took such a dark turn oh, at the Lord. end. Oh my God. And then he just smoked in the back of the cop car, which then lit on fire. And also the kids were lit. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know how I'd feel like if somebody called me a skunky water pipe. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, yeah that's, that's, a, that's a little personal. Like, right? hey, that's no not way. like it for me. All right, like, what no is way. That? You're a teenage nug. Throwing hands. Yeah, sorry, a teenage nug. Yeah. Teenage nug getting ca captured by tortillas. <laughs> 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 and they're just smoking in the cop car. Like, yeah. Like yeah. we were saying. Amazing. Screw it. All right, cool. A little ad lib. I'm ad lib. Maybe we could do that. Um, Canalib. The Canalib. Mm -hmm. Are you guys hiring? I'm going to just kind of burn through these uh, Instagram questions with you guys, and then we'll call her a day there. Um, <clears throat> always argue with the. Uh, no, what's the best water temperature to water your plants? I use only rainwater at very cool temp. Well, that's, that's a tough one. Um, that's a Steven question and a Ryan. Tune in next week, possibly. Possibly next week. Uh, Ryan, Stephen are growers, so uh, maybe they'll have an answer for you. I'm not going to say anything because I don't know. Are you guys hiring right now, Richmond VA? Um, good question. I'm not sure. We do take applications all the time. They come uh, just check Indeed. Uh, indeed. Or um, our website will have a careers page where you can put your uh, application on file, at least in well, uh, at least know who to reach out to. So that is, uh, that's it, fellas. That was a good show. Um, we're going to call our day. Coming up in an hour here. Alex, appreciate you being with us. Hope it was uh, a good time for you. Oh, yeah. That was good. Shout out the dispensary and uh, Sugar Pop. Sugar Pop. Sugar Pop. <laughs> Finger popping. Oh, I should. I should. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that? Bro? I'm not gonna say. Oh, oh no. it's it's clip it, chat, bad. chat, clip it. Oh god. <laughs> that's, that's, what is that at? <laughs> that's not Pineapple Express. It's um. Glaze and confuse. No. Finger popping. <laughs> I can't even say it because it's like dumb. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Bacon mm -hmm. and Hash. Uh, shout out to Alex for stopping by. Shout out to the dispensary for allowing us to be here and use this platform and use these products. And <laughs> we'll see you next that's, week. That's a prayer to the dispensary, by the way. Shout out to the dispensary. All right. <laughs> We're out of here. Peace out.